Good day YouTubers. <coughs> it's the Baccarat man here. I'm going to share a strategy with you. Um, play in uh, the big the big road and the big R boy road uh, combined together. And then I'll be using a money management strategy which I'll call the grind, which I will show you. And um, I'll play for, uh, well, let's go over, let's go over to the money management. Okay, so <coughs> we've got the positive progression, which is um, a one, if you win, you go to one unit again, if you win, and if you win that, you go to two units. And then the negative progression is uh, when we minus one in our bankroll, the minute you're in a minus, then we go into a recovery mode, which is um, you bet one unit, another unit, another unit. So there's five one units in the progression and then you go up to two and then two again and then three and then four and then five and so forth and when you win you come back down until you get back to positive again or zero and start all over again so that's basically the and then your buy-in is 22 units and your bankroll is 110 units so let's get to it and let me show you that we'll go over to the simulator and um, so we're playing for a target of two units a session and normally when i i hit my two units i i pull out using this money management and then i will play for eight eight units for a daily target so i'll play a couple more um, sessions so you play four sessions for eight units for the day and that's what I normally do so looking here we've got the, the big boy road here the second graph here scoreboard and then below that you've got the big the, the big R boy underneath that then underneath that you've got the small road and then to the right, we've got the cockroach pig road. So we've got to wait for about three hands, three to four hands before we can lay a bit. So I'll show you how we play this. So let's go. We've got to play up. We've got a banker. Got a banker, so we should have a result here. Okay, so the blue circle is indicating that we um, have chaos, it's not predictable, so there's nothing predictable about that. So we'll play another hand, Have a look at the history. So we've got another blue circle, which is chaos, unpredictable. So we've got no play there. We play another hand. Let's have a look at our history. So we've got another another chaos blue circle, which indicates the blue indicates the uh, chaos. So let's go play another hand. Look at our history. We've still got a chaos blue circle there, so there's nothing predictable in this outcome. Let's have a look at history. Another blue circle, chaos, no predictability there. Uh, 
Okay, now we've got a sign of a predictability here. That's predictable, this here. Tell you why. If an outcome is not in the top square in a new column, what we do is we move one over to the left and we look at that square. If it's filled or empty, that's filled. Then we look at the square above it. If that's filled, then we've got a, a match that's equal. So what's predictable about this? You could either go with the terrible twos, yeah? So we'd, we'd bet on banker, or do we go for a run? A streak. I think I will bet on banker. So what we do is we put one unit on banker, and let's play it. And we lost it. So we've got a streak going now. Now, we've got an unpredictable chaos blue circle again. The reason being, we're not in the top square. So we look at the last outcome and we go to the left and we look up. That's filled and the one on the left here was empty. So that's not a match. So therefore we get the blue circle of unpredictability, chaos. So we play another free hand. So we've got another un chaos circle, blue circle, which indicates chaos unpredictable. Play another hand. Same thing, unpredictable. Nothing predictable there. We've got a predictable circle. Red circle. Red circle stands for predictability. So what's predictable about this here? So we, we in the top square in a new column. So when we have a an outcome in a top square in a column, we go two to the left. One, two, and we look down, that's empty, and we look at the previous circle that's empty so that's that's a match so that's what's giving us the, the red circle so what's predictable about these three outcomes I would say as choppers starting yeah so we lost our last bet so we minus in our bankroll so whenever we minus in our bankroll we go down to the recovery mode a negative progression and we start playing there so we've got to put down a unit on player and we play and we get that so let's go back to the history and uh, we're in the top square in a new column so therefore we're going to go two to the left and look down go over to the other square look down they're both empty, so it's a match. So we've got another predictable red circle. So what's predictable about this? The chop is continuing. So we put, uh, we've got our bankroll back up again to zero. So we put a, a unit on banker. And we get it. Okay. So we've already got our, if you look at our balance here, we've got our one unit, we've got one unit to go. So let's go back and look at the history here. So we've got another red circle of predictability. So if you look here, we've got an outcome in the top square in, in the new column. So we go, what we do here is we go two to the left, one, two, look down, it's empty. This one is the same. So that's a predictable sign. What's predictable about this? The chop is continuing. 
So we put another another unit on player according to the progression. And we play. And we lose it. Okay. So we're back down in minus again. So now we've got to go back to recovery mode. Um, the negative progression. Okay, so let's have a look at this. So if you're not in the top square and the last outcome, you look to the left, we've got an empty square, and we look above it, we've got a full square. So that's not, not a match. So that's a sign of unpredictability, therefore we've got the blue circle. Let's have a look. Again, it's in the top square in a new column. So we go two to the left. One, two, below, it's empty, it's neighbor, it's full. So that's not a match. So we get another unpredictable chaos blue circle. Play another free hand. We've got another, another, an, chaos sign here unpredictable so as you can see here you go two to the left go down it's that square is full the next door is it's empty so it's not a match play another free hand we've got a predictable red circle here now and the big R road, the big boy, the, the big R boy road. So what's predictable about this? We've got a chop starting. So we put a, a unit on, one unit on banker. That's a tar. And in a tar, with a tar, in the big road, it doesn't count. So you could either leave that and and play another another free spin or we can just take that as the player standing so the bet would still stand that we bet on banker so which I will do so we put a bet back on banker and we lose it okay so now we've got another chaos blue circle so the reason being um, we're not in the top square, we go down, and then our last outcome, we go to the left, it's an empty square, and the one above it is full, so that's not a match, so we take another square, another uh, um, free unit. Okay, so now we've got a predictable circle, red circle. So we look here, we're not in the top square, so we take the last outcome, we go to the left, it's, it's, that uh, square is empty, go to the top, that's empty, so that's a match. So what's predictable about this? Looks like we've got a run going here, so let's put a, a unit on, player. And we get it. So we go back, we've got another predictable red circle, and here we're not in the top square, so we go to the last outcome, and we look to the left, it's empty, above that it's empty. So both squares are empty, so that's predictable. So we've got, what's predictable about this? We've got a run going, a streak, so let's put a bit, uh, bet on player to continue the streak and we get it so let's have a look here we've got another predictable circle red circle and we look we're not in the top square but we take a look at the last outcome look to the left it's empty above it it's empty so we've got a match therefore we got the red predictable circle 
So we put another unit on player. And we lose it. So in our history we've got chaos, unpredictable, blue circle. Because we're in the top square in a new column and we go two to the left. We look down, it's empty. And here we've got five filled um, squares. So there's, it's not a match. So we take a free hand. Another unpredictable chaos blue circle. We look here. We're in the top square in a new column. So we go two to the left. And we've got five filled squares. And we've got one. It's not a match. So we take another free hand. And now we've got a predictable red circle. Why? Because we're in the top square in a new column. So we go two to the left. We look down. It's empty. And we look down from that second one. And it's empty. So that's a match. So what's predictable about this? It looks like a a chop going. So let's put a unit on player. And we lose that. Okay, we've got another unpredictable chaos blue circle. And we've got... Uh, we're not in the top square. We're down in the second square. We look to the left and above it. And that's why we've got the chaos blue circle. We take another free hand. Okay, we've got a predictable red circle. Why? Because we're not in the top square. We take the last outcome. We go to the left. It's empty. And above it, it's empty. So that's a match. So what's predictable about this? Looks like a run going. So let's bet that that run will continue. So we put a unit on banker. And we win it. So we've got another predictable circle. And we look at our not not top square in the new column. Look at our last outcome. It's empty to the left. Above it's empty. So we continue betting on the run, so it will be a, a banker. And we get that. So we up one unit again, we just got one more unit to get. <laughs> okay, so we've got another predictable red circle. We look at our outcomes here. We're not in the top square, so we take the last outcome and we look to the left look above it it's empty so we have a match here so we can put another unit on banker and we lose that so now we we in the minus again so we have to start all over again <laughs> okay so we've got another unpredictable chaos circle and we look at why we in the top square in a new column so we take two columns to the left look down it's empty and here we have five full squares so that's not a match so we play another hand okay so we've got a predictable circle there a red circle and we're not in the top square in a new column we take the last outcome, we go to the left, that's filled. Above it, it's filled. So that's predictable. So what's predictable about this? We'll, we'll bet that that will continue. So we put a bet on player. And we win that. We've got another predictable red circle. So we look at our outcomes here. We've got three here. We're not in the top square, so we take the last outcome, go to the left, 
look directly above it, they're both filled. So that's a match. So we will bet that this this run and or streak will continue. So we put another bet on player. And we get a tar. In case of a tar, we look at our outcome. So it would be the same still. So, and this doesn't change. So in the big road, is the tire is ignored. So we've got the same situation. So we can we look to the left, above it they fall. So we'll put another bet on player. And we win that. There we've got our two units. We've got our two units there. So this is why I call this system a grind. It's quite a grind to get your two units. Um, I wouldn't play for more than that. And I'd only play one session and um, for two units. And then I'll play another three sessions through the day uh, to get make it eight units for the day. So... Um, Let's see what would have happened here. So we've got another predictable circle here. So if we'd um, put a bet here, we're not in the top square. So we go down to our last outcome. We look, we look to the left. That's filled, and the one above it is filled. So what's predictable about this? We've got a run or streak going. So if we had a bet, we'd bet player. So let's just see what happens player wins so we would have been up three units so uh, I hope that was clear to you please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell and switch your notifications on and I will have more videos for you I'll be doing to start with I'm still new with YouTube so I'll probably be doing one un, uh, one one um, video a week to start with and if I'll be doing lots of these. I'll be doing all the different roads. I'll be doing a lot of uh, betting strategies, money management strategies um, for future videos. And that's me done. Till next time.